Hi guys, this is Techzilla. I'm back again with another quick video. This time I'm going to be doing a sort of comparison video of an iPhone 8. It's a dummy toy iPhone 8. Um, there's a lot of them out there. I wasn't going to make this video. I made it yesterday, but I really didn't like it. I thought it was really crappy. Um, That's just me being honest with you guys. I'm going to give you my sort of opinions on the iPhone 8 as well, what I think so far, uh, and comparing it to these devices here. So we've got the iPhone 7 Plus, which has got a 5.5 inch screen, you all know that, Xiaomi Mi Mix, and an S8 Plus. Now, a lot of these dummy phones out there, they've all got slight variations in the way they look, um, in the way the bezels look, and so on. So you have to take this with a little bit of a pinch of salt. The dummy phones, they're pretty much a good representation of what the iPhone 8 is going to look like. But there could be design changes when the real thing comes out. So bear with me, guys. So this is the dummy phone I've got. Now, other dummy phones of this has got slightly smaller bezels running around the side. Some of them, the bezels look more blended in because they're like a silvery color with a silver iPhone 8. Now, my question is, is the iPhone 8 really bezel-less? Or is it, a, is it an illusion? Also, how does it feel in hand? Size comparisons between these other beasts here. So let's start off with the iPhone 7 Plus. Now a lot of people compare this, when comparing the dummy to the iPhone 7, which I kind of disagree with. I know it kind of falls in between, but when you're looking at the size of the screen and cost, I think it's more preferential to compare it to an iPhone 7 Plus. Now size-wise, you can clearly, clearly see there's a big difference in size. So you put it back to back. Massive difference in height. Massive difference in thickness, uh, in width. But thickness is pretty, pretty good. Now let's have a run around, have a run around the actual dummy phone. So you can see the power button's a lot bigger for some weird reason. SIM trays the same location. On the bottom, virtually identical, but you've got one speaker, one microphone, charging port. On this side, very similar design, volume rocker keys and the mute switch. And also on the top, nothing. Now looking at from the front, see the screen on here comes up to about there and ends around here. So if I put this against it, you can clearly see this is a much longer screen, but a narrower screen. Okay, so that's comparing to an iPhone 7 Plus. Also, this button is not going to be present on this, which is kind of a little bit of a worry to me. Uh, a lot of people are going to be saying, why is that a worry? Because on iPhone apps, they usually put the back buttons in the top left hand corner on a lot of iPhone apps. So if you want to go back out of the app, you have to go up there, fiddle around, come out. But with the button, you can press it, bang, it comes on instantly. You get, you go back to your home screen instantly. So that's the number one concern. How are they going to get around that? Are they going to redesign the way the apps are or leave them the same? That's number one. Uh, Rumors said they're going to have an fingerprint sensor on the back. Now, my issue with that is the fingerprint sensor on the back looked ugly, but it was a workable solution. Now, my thing is, if there's no fingerprint sensor on the phone, they're going to be going with the face unlock technology or whatever, iris scanner. That's all good and well, but this is a new technology for Apple. So, we all know new technologies have a lot of bugs in them, a lot. And my concern is, 
is it, how effective is that going to be? That's that's a big concern for me. Not having that physical button there because I couldn't get it under the screen because the technology is not ready yet. What do you guys think about that? All right, ease of use. I mean, the phone feels brilliant in hand. It feels tiny, but the screen is pretty big. It's not very wide, but it's very long. They've gone the S7 or well, S8 route. Obviously, this is the S8 Plus. So, as you can see there, not bad. It's a smaller screen. Let's put the put it height. Yeah, it's a lot narrower as well, as you can see there. Now, that moves on to my next point. How bezel-less is this phone really? If you look at this S8 Plus, you've got a bezel here, a bezel there, and you've got none on the sides at all. Obviously, these bezels here are probably gonna be a little bit thinner, but it's not going to be completely bezel-less. You're still going to have a frame from what I've seen running around the screen. So is that truly bezel-less? I'm not dissing the phone saying it shouldn't happen. I'm glad Apple have gone up a step. I'm just questioning the fact, is it as bezel-less as we think it's going to be? And this weird thing here, that's very, very essential phone-like, the way this comes down. Again, it's not a complaint, but it's there. Because I know what will happen, Apple will release this and they'll try and claim they, the first ones to bring it to market and so on, or the first people to make a bezel-less phone, which isn't really the truth. So compared to the S8 Plus, I would say the S8 Plus is more bezel-less, just from this. Obviously the final design, as I keep saying, probably have slightly smaller bezels, but we'll see. Now let's bring in Xiaomi Mi Mix. All right, this is the daddy of, well actually no, it was the Sharp made a phone that was the Aqueous or whatever it was called, I don't know. That was the first bezel-less. Now this is a true beast. This is a true beast. It's got this chin here to house that camera, but this is a very, very bezel-less around these three, these three sides. It's just here, which I don't actually mind. That's probably the equivalent of what Apple have up here, but it's at the bottom. But very, very beautiful design phone. Lovely, look at that mirror finish. This is proper premium looking, proper premium looking. So let's compare them side by side. Now, a lot of people, and this is, this is not my opinion, this is what will actually happen. People are going to say that this is too small, right? And it, because it feels small in hand. So the only way around it is Apple make the screen bigger. This is a 6.4 inch screen on the Xiaomi Mi Mix. And this is pretty much the same size as an iPhone 7 Plus. It's just a tad wider, literally a few millimeters wider. And Height-wise, let's compare the heights of these two beasts. It's a little bit taller and a little bit wider, but not by a huge amount. And thickness-wise, it's a little bit thicker. But again, this is a 6.4 inch screen. This is a 5.5 inch screen. So my question to you guys, is this gonna be, is it truly bezel-less? You know, what do you think? Um, and would you have preferred them to Apple to make this a bigger screen, say six inches, so the phone feels more substantial in hand? The problem is the public will, and this is no disrespect to anyone, will complain and complain and complain. Everyone wants bezel-less, which is the way of the future, which I understand. But then they'll say, this is too small. Look at the LG G6. So many people complain that phone is too small. That's because it's bezel-less. It's bezel-less, 5.7 inch screen, that's a 5.5. But holding in hand and comparing it to this is tiny by comparison. You know, so what, what do you guys want? Do you want a bigger bezel-less phone? 
Do you mind having a little bit of chin on it? Do you want it completely bezel-less? Do you think the iPhone 8 is gonna be completely bezel-less with just this little part at the top here? Or do you think it's gonna have these borders running around the, the screen? You tell me. I know it's all hearsay and rumors and leaks, but I'm actually looking forward to this personally because it's an advancement forward. It's about time Apple up their game. It's about time Apple went the extra mile with the design because let's be honest, this design has been around for a number of years and it's getting stale. So they need to do it. Um, or do you guys prefer to have these, like this Sony XZ Premium, have these massive chins on them? If they've got like dual speakers built into them or something like that, or do you prefer something like this? I mean, look, compare it again. Look at this, the screen on this is slightly longer. It's definitely not as wide, definitely not as wide. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think. I love your feedback. As always, this is just a sort of rumors video. It's more a comparison video. So you can see it compared to these other bezel-less devices in the old iPhone 7 Plus. Anyway guys, that's it. This is Techzilla saying take care. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down there. Share this video on all your social media because it helps me out. Um, I don't take a penny from any of you guys, as you already know. I don't get paid to do my reviews. I make a loss, so it's all off my own back. But I am definitely, definitely interested in what you guys say. Um, this is why I do it. I have a love of mobile phones, of technology, headphones, and so on. So take care, and I'll see you all again real soon. Peace.